On the days following Christmas, malls are likely busy with people using gift cards and making returns. Eyewitness News reporter Molly O'Brien joins us now live in studio with some tips from the Better Business Bureau. Molly. Caroline, the National Retail Federation says more than half of shoppers return or exchange holiday gifts within the first month of receiving them. So if you're hitting the stores, we have a few simple steps to help. When it comes to holiday presents, not every gift is a winner. Every retail and online store has its own return policy when it comes to returns and exchanges. Experts say check the fine print before you head to the store. Sometimes during the holidays, there's actually not the same return policy that there is year round. Is there a restocking fee if they do accept a refund? Consumer Reports also recommends these three tips. Number one, don't open the box. Keep the original packaging intact. Otherwise, retailers may charge you a restocking fee. Very important for electronics. Number two, keep those receipts. Consumer Reports says having one will ensure you get a full refund. Otherwise, you're likely to get store credit. We're reading that fine print to understand how are we going to return these gifts if our loved one doesn't like them and make sure we're getting those gift receipts. And number three, bring your ID. Some stores use computerized return systems that detect abuse, and you may be required to show identification. Online retail platform Oracle says 77% of consumers plan to return some of their gifts. Nearly 20% expect to return more than half of theirs. The survey also says most will do that in store, not online. Most retailers have extended their return windows and have tweaked their return policies to accommodate that expected rush. So you want to double check with each individual store before you give those gifts back. Live in studio, I'm Molly O'Brien for Eyewitness News.